Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. We are working in our safari zoo again. Today we are going to be building a hyena habitat. Um, I haven't, this is my first um, hyena habitat I've built so I was pretty excited for it. Sorry, I don't know why I'm talking silly. Sometimes I like to talk silly, it's fine. <laughs> Um, so, it's so, I figured out part of my issue with, like, building things and, like, the habitats in particular. Like, sometimes I zoom out to get a better, a better picture of things and, like, see how things are fitting together. And you can zoom out so far like you can zoom out so far and it can totally distort my perspective of things like I just it kills like my depth perception and like my perception of how things are fitting together like things look so small and because the zoo because of how I've been building it habitat by habitat and not really filling in like decorations and stuff in between it, it makes it look very empty and it looks like it needs to be filled. And so I'm filling it with these giant things that I end up like scaling back and scaling back and scaling back. And then I'm like, oh, now it's too small for this animal. Like the hippos or now it's too big for the hyenas or which I mean, can you really have a habitat that's too big? Um. I mean, and the thing is too, is I zoomed out and I looked at the mixed animal exhibit that I did in the first episode of this series and oh my God, it's huge. Like I knew I made it big, but it is ginormous, ginormous. Like I am just... Like, I don't know, do you guys, when you build a zoo, if you build a zoo, do you start by, like, laying it out first with paths and stuff, and, like, a general idea of how to do it? Do you just wing it? Like, what works best for you guys? I'm curious. Like, so far, I really haven't had much planning or layout, unless it's just been in my head, like, oh, I generally, I want it to look like this. But I really haven't like laid paths out or laid any sort of true structure. Like I did a little bit in One World Zoo where I went through and I was like, okay, each like different marker of the path, like where each path comes off the main path will be like a different continent essentially and the end will be... Australia because Australia is like the last continent that we actually build an animal for so it's just but even that like I didn't when I first started building I didn't have an idea of how I wanted to do it I didn't know if I wanted to do it by biome I didn't know if I wanted to do it by continent like I didn't know if I wanted to do it by like days like did I want to do it just go sequentially and have it just be like this one path around. like I had no idea how I wanted to lay out this zoo right and again with this zoo no idea how I wanted to lay it out so uh, is it do you guys think it's more beneficial to actually it probably would be <laughs> like cause now because I didn't have any sort of like plan for this zoo I've only got like five ish I think five more animals that I definitely want to build a habitat for for this zoo um because I wanted to stick to the animals that were on the African grasslands um and they may or may not, you know, drift into the desert or the jungle, but I really just wanted to focus on the grasslands, specifically of the African continent. So that's 
like all the animals that this Jeep is gonna drive through or around are gonna be those animals. So there's five more left. And if you noticed the size of the track in the hippo video, it, it's huge because I didn't plan anything out. And I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna need a ton of space. And I was zoomed out. And when you zoom out, it's so deceitful. <laughs> so deceitful. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really gonna have to start doing better at having an idea of what I want out of a zoo and like really, I guess, planning it out better. I don't know. I don't know. I do like this premise though of having the different animals only accessible via this safari ride. Like, it seems really cool, and I don't really have a lot of pressure to, like, disguise all of, like, the wind turbines and stuff, because I'm gonna go through and add more trees and stuff, and I want to add a bit more, like, decorations along the path, but now it's like, we'll do... <sighs> Do I add something else? Like, I don't know. So I'm, I still have a few more exhibits and habitats to build, obviously, before we get to that decision-making point. <laughs> but I'm running into another issue, and I've mentioned this issue before in a different video, of my graphics card. And I am starting to notice, I don't, uh, I don't know how well it'll come across in the video or not, but things are starting to get a little low resolution <laughs> with building stuff. And like when I'm placing plants, like it's very obviously like blurred when I'm far away from it. And then as I get, and not even that far, like. And then I place that, and it'll come in, and it'll just drift in and out of resolution, and I kind of have to, like, force it to show me the resolution if I need to see it. Um, oh yeah, I also totally built this wonderful path for my hyenas to escape. Uh, I saw it, and, like, the hyenas were escaping, and I was like, that was beautifully sculpted for that beautifully sculpted for those to escape star good job good job <laughs> like oh my goodness gracious i cannot believe it like i just wasn't even thinking i was looking at like looks and making it look pretty and then i was like ah uh, wrong 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 for this animal <sighs> what works for one animal does not work for another animal obviously Obviously. <laughs> also, hyenas, for only having three or four of them, they needed quite a bit of hard shelter. I was a little surprised. Um, but there's they're puppers. They're so cute. <laughs> I know they're not. They're very dangerous. But it was raining and they all went into the shelter together and it was so... I was just like, oh, I want to cuddle and lay in bed with the height. Like, no, no, we don't. No, no. We don't want to do that. It <laughs> would be such a bad idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just. And this hyena was doing the little. What's it called? Scented sack item, I think. And they swim too, and I love it. I love that all the animals can swim. Obviously not all of them can. But I'm noticing as I'm watching this video back, the resolution isn't that bad. Here with the rain, it got a little fuzzy as I was recording, and I was like, hmm, I don't know if it's gonna work. But even watching it back, it still doesn't look as fuzzy as it looked on my screen, which is encouraging and annoying all at the same time. So, <laughs> I don't know. 
but thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll continue the zoo as long as my graphics card will let me <laughs> so have a wonderful day bye guys <laughs>